The Mazda B series of trucks has been an integral part of Mazda's history. In fact, in car culture history, before that, trucks were delegated to being agricultural tools, carrying people, carrying cargo, carrying wheat or rice maybe, and all that. But since then, trucks have been known to be more of like a lifestyle vehicle. You can actually bring your truck to the work site and to the club after hours. Now the Mazda B series has long been gone, but its predecessor, the Mazda BT50 carries on. As you can see right here, it's a real beauty. What's going on guys? Roy Robles here from zigwheels.ph and today we have a special truck for you. I really am a sucker for red trucks from Japan. And this one right here, the Mazda BT50, we're gonna take it for a quick drive and a review and we'll tell you if it's worth the price. Now we're gonna start with the exterior of the Mazda BT50. As you can see, the Kodo design language has been applied to this huge truck and it looks amazing. This black grille right here, it really gives it a more practical, more sporty vibe, which is more akin to probably Makati or BGC than the work site or out of town. You're gonna love these LED headlamps with projectors inside them, as well as the fog lamps. One quirk with this, however, is that the DRLs are actually located here as well. They're halogens instead of LEDs, but at least it gives you a little bit more contrast in the overall look. Now you got this huge hood right here. It's really heavy by the way, and it houses that diesel engine and we're gonna talk about that later on. But the sweeping design, these arches here, give it a more muscular appeal, gives you more confidence as you look at it as well as driving it. This particular four x two model has these extra accessories to it. The first 300 customers who get their Mazda BT50 will get three free accessories. You got your skid plate up front, your over fenders right here on the sides, as well as a manual mechanical rolling shutter right there in the bed. We're gonna show you those things later on as we move around the car. Now heading over to the side of the Mazda BT50, you'll see a couple of things that really catch my interest. First of all, you can definitely see those blacked out over fenders that I tell you, first 300 customers will be getting those for free. You also get these chunky step boards right here. It makes it easier to get into this truck. Now the difference between this 4x2 variant and the 4x4 is that you lose the chrome door handles, which I think is a plus because you know how I feel about chrome door handles. You, you gotta take that out guys. No, that's not my taste. Probably it's gonna be your taste, but what do you think about chrome trim? Drop me a comment in the comment section down below. Also, the 4x2 variant does not have roof rails. If you want to get roof rails, you got to get the 4x4 variant. And yeah, it's definitely a truck. One thing about the profile that I have my doubts about are those tail lamps. The tail lamps wrap around quite obviously to the side of the truck, but this is pretty much a safety feature, guys. So don't complain about those wrap around tail lamps, especially in trucks, because this helps with the visibility of the truck. For example, if you've got a black BT50, uh, but your tail lamps are flush to the back, you won't be able to see this at night. So that's pretty much a safety feature and they could have done it a different way, but I'm just glad it's there. Let's head over to the back. All right, so in the back, you get this huge bed right here, which is definitely big enough for you to fit in all of your items right here. Now, a few details that I like about the Mazda BD50 is the rear camera. The rear camera is nicely integrated with the door handle and doesn't look like an afterthought at all. Usually you'd find these and other trucks, like a black camera right here or installed somewhere else. It's like, oh guys, we forgot to have a camera right there. Let's put something right there. But with the Mazda BT50, it's nicely integrated and it's clean and it's nice. You got this huge Mazda badge right there, a BT50 typography. And it's an overall clean look that I really love. So to fold the shutter, you got to put the tailgate down, this unassisted tailgate. Gotta do my rope. And then, Pull these latches down and roll. So that's enough of the bed. Let's take a look at the inside. All right, so inside the Mazda BT50, you, I won't blame you if you think that you've seen this before and you're experiencing deja vu all over again. 
The Mazda BT50 and the Isuzu D-Max share the same platform. The two companies have decided to collaborate and share technologies in order to build this particular truck and the other truck as well. But the difference between the Mazda BT50 is that it adds its own Mazda flair to it. For example, you've got your steering wheel right here with all the buttons here. The media control buttons are right here on the left side. And on the right, you've got your cruise control. It's easy to get your optimum driving position because you can adjust this for reach and brake. The top of the dash, it's soft touch materials. You got your split level glove compartment right here, your touchscreen infotainment system with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, by the way. Also, you've got your gauge cluster here. It's a traditional gauge cluster. You got your tachometer on the left and your speedometer on the right, plus a small screen there for your information, like your, well, for trip A and trip B. You got your average fuel consumption there. Anyway, the shifter is kind of chunky here, but the print on top could be better. They might have gotten this from the Amaza or Isuzu parts bin right there. But no worries, you got your button right here as well for your parking sensors, your hill descent control, and some blank buttons. You also have your manual AC controls here. You got a USB port here and a classic 3.5 millimeter audio jack for you 90s guys or 2000s guys like myself. If you just need to put in your jack right there for your tunes if you don't want to use Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. Plus, you also got a 12 volt socket. If you want to put in any more accessories right there, you got, I appreciate the addition of grab handles here because this is definitely a high truck. I remember a time when you, know, you got grab handles for the passengers, but no, nothing for the driver. You'll, you know, the driver has to rely on the steering wheel, but that's not sexy at all. So everything's in its place. I love how everything's put together from a driver's perspective, but I want to know exactly how that feels for the passenger in the back. All right, so passengers in the back get to enjoy a more commanding view of the road because the seats are kind of high. They're higher than the front passengers right there in the front. But for me, that's a good thing because you get to enjoy the drive as well as the other passengers inside the car. It has an airy appeal here. Nothing, there isn't much that's blocking your line of sight. You can actually see things in front. You can see your passenger right here. Plus, you got large bottle holders in the rear as well. So if you got space for a 1.5 liter bottle, all good. Plus the center console actually has and houses these AC vents, which actually blow really cold air in the back. You also got a nice solitary USB-A port right there with a flap that your kids will probably remove. Now here's the thing about the rear seats. They're quite supportive, but they're a little bit on the firm side. I could probably see myself living here for the next two, three hours with a few stops, of course. You got good headroom, good legroom, but the, f the feet room can actually use some work. But that's okay because you got a lot of space right there as well as for this middle row passenger. So all good. Definitely a good place to be in for the rear passenger. But I want to know how this drives. Let's take this out on the road. All right, so we are now behind the wheel of the Mazda BT-50. Now, there's something about red Japanese trucks that I really like. Feels like I could do my best Brian O'Connor impression, but as you can see, I'm not really in the league of that. But anyway, despite the truck having your standard suspension up front and even leaf springs in the back, it doesn't give you that old rough feeling that you're actually going to have to put some sandbags or sacks of rice in the back just for you to equalize or normalize the suspension. No, modern trucks these days have a better weight distribution system so that you can make sure that you're driving as comfortable as you can. And yes, it is very comfortable inside the Mazda BT-50. So one thing to consider about this car is that this is the 4x2 model of the Mazda BT-50, which isn't so bad, actually. I've driven the 4x4s before, 4x4 trucks, even high-end sports trucks that has 4x4. The only time that I get to use 4x4 mode, like 4H or 4L, has been like 3 or 5% of the time while using the truck. So even though I'm going through rough roads, you don't have to use 4H. A lot of people are looking for a four-wheel drive, but to be honest, 90% of us, 95% of us, don't need that so you're good with 4x2 trust me on that so under the hood you've got a three liter turbocharged four-cylinder diesel engine that makes get this 195 horsepower and 450 newton meters of torque those are figures that are nothing to sneeze about and so you can definitely feel the power when you need it 
that thing fell off! So if you're heading off to Baguio, Tagaytay, no problems. The Mazda VT50 has you covered. Right, so steering. Steering from a truck has to be hard, in my opinion. You don't want really soft electronic power steering in your truck because you're bringing a really heavy vehicle and you need as much road feel as possible. But the steering in the Mazda BT50 isn't, isn't really that hard, in my opinion. So at least you still get a little bit of the ease of drive that you get and you can expect from modern vehicles. NVH levels, well, understandable. You've got a diesel truck here and yes, you're jostling around. So when it comes to vibration, it's not going to be rivaling most executive cars out there or any executive car for that matter. But it's not bad compared to other trucks. It's definitely on par with them or even above average. Noise is, <laughs> you can hear a lot of the engine noise here. Again, this is a diesel engine as well as road noise, especially on uh, highway traffic. But the harshness, again, you have to put that in perspective, what you are driving. You're driving a truck. You're driving a diesel truck. So when we put that into the scale of diesel trucks that are usually more rugged, more hardcore, I'd say it's right on top of it. All right, so fuel economy is also great with the Mazda BT50, considering that this is a big hulking truck with all that power and torque, you can still get seven to eight kilometers in the city with diesel fuel. Now I head over to the highway, it reached about 14 to 15 kilometers per liter in the city. Again, you have to put that into perspective. You're bringing a heavy truck that can haul ass. You've got this real nice interior and all that power. So that fuel economy, just right up the course. It's actually kind of great. So when it comes to safety, well, you've got your usual dual airbags, you got ABS, electronic brake force distribution, you know, the standard safety features, you know, seat belts, isofix anchors. But a few extra things that the Mazda BT50 does have, you've got traction control. You also have hill descent control, which is usually a system found in off-road vehicles, but in the 4x2 model, you got it right packed. The pricing for the Mazda BT50 starts at 1,390,000 pesos, for the manual transmission variant and 1,430,000 for the automatic. That's for the 4x2 model. Now we've been receiving a lot of comments lately and asking why are pickup trucks significantly lower in price to its SUV counterparts which almost reaches the 1.7 mil, million and 2 million mark. The thing about trucks is that they're actually covered by a particular tax break covering agricultural vehicles. So Trucks are under that category and they get to enjoy a few perks, such as tax breaks. Therefore, companies are able to price them lower than usual. That's the one thing that actually our neighbor countries are envious about us because companies are able to charge their trucks lower than usual. I just hope that they don't change that very soon. So there you have it folks, the Mazda BT50 4x2 with an automatic transmission. Now it's an amazing truck, don't get me wrong, but I've got three things that I don't like about it. But don't worry, I've got three things that I love about it as well. So the first part that I don't probably like, and this is just nitpicking, the front DRL. So DRLs could have been more like a Mazda wrap around on the tail lamps to make it look more Kodo-like. But instead, they gave it halogen DRLs, which is great. I mean, if you look at it from a different perspective, it creates some sort of contrast color. But again, I wish it was LED. Second thing I don't like about this Mazda BT50 are some cost-cutting things that you have inside, like some plastic bits, the shifters, some of the bits on the door panels. They're a bit off from the Mazda brand, but I think it's really a great compromise if you think about it, especially with the price of this truck. The last nitpick on the Mazda B250 is that it doesn't have any cup holders for the rear passengers. It would be great if the rear passengers had their own cup holders or sensor armrests because you're going to want to take this out of town. You want to take this on a long trip, grab those gifts or pasalubongs, as I said, when you're out of town. And yeah, this is a great family car. Now, here we go to the things that I really love about this car. First of all, that engine. The diesel engine inside this Mazda BT50 is definitely a godsend. It's amazing. The torque at the low end, especially when going through the city, creates a lot of opportunities for you for fuel saving as well as hauling a lot of stuff. 
The second thing I love about this Mazda BT-50 in the 4x2 variant are the freebies that you get from Mazda. You've got your black plastic cladding, your over fenders, you've got your front skid plates, and of course, that manual rolling shutter in the end. The thing about manual rolling shutters is that it has less parts to break instead of a power rolling shutter. Plus, it's waterproof, so you can put all your stuff in it without having to worry about the rainy season. Third, of course, it's Mazda's special five-year warranty service. So for the next five years, during your first five years of ownership, you get free labor and PMS service. So you don't have to worry about oil change or any of those worrisome filters inside of the car, especially for a diesel car. Plus, you get free roadside assistance as well. So you can't go wrong with the Mazda BT-50. Don't worry about the price at all because throughout that five years, you can definitely recuperate some of it and you will definitely see it's a worth it truck. That's it for our review of the Mazda BT-50. If you're looking for a great discount on this car, head on over to zigwheels.ph and leave us a comment in the comment section down below if you believe that this is the truck for you. While you're at it, subscribe to our channel and hit that notification icon so you won't miss any of our videos. This is Roy Robles from zigwheels.ph. I'll see you guys next time.